Why pay to learn? Why pay to learn when you can get paid to do it? As part of putting your life centre stage, we want to stress the need for joined up thinking and action. So, if you have a problem which needs fixing sooner or later, we are here to help make it happen. OK? Giving yourself a reboot, so to speak. If you missed a television programme called Fat, Sick and Nearly Dead, you'll love what an Australian called Joe Cross has done. When he realised his health needed a reboot, he fixed his problem. Here's a sneak preview. The rest you can find on his website. Well, what I'm doing is I'm doing a documentary on health. I put myself there by having a lot of junk food, eating a lot of crap, not eating vegetables, not eating fruits. You went from 429 to 368, so that's a 60 pound weight loss in a month. That's excellent. But you can make very radical lifestyle changes without having to have surgery or a medicine or a quick fix. This is going to be longer lasting because you've completely changed how you eat and everything about the way you live your life. Now, we reckon we should all do the same with our other problems. Think what causes them and act to reboot for a boost to life. Why not sit with a pen and paper and connect the reasons for all of your problems? Then join up the solutions and see if things look better. For example, start by connecting how your aspirations fit with your reality. If you want more or have more than you can afford, you'll become miserable. If you can find ways to cut costs, save spare income and work at a practical plan to enjoy realistically what you can keep going, you'll be happier. Remember, nobody achieves things overnight. Hoping to win the lottery is self-defeating. Don't throw your money away. Work positively at your plan and you will get there. Believe in yourself. Stop comparing yourself to others. Concentrate. Be confident. Congratulate yourself and don't ever put yourself down. Every day is Christmas if you wake up breathing. You've a new day, a bonus, which you should appreciate, love and enjoy. No other way of looking at things makes sense. Pick yourself a positive vibe and stay with it. As Joe Cross analysed, we are sufferers of our own making. We can reboot our ways of living. We can fix our problems and make ourselves happier. No ifs or buts. Just don't take our word for it. Unemployment never did any good to the individual or the society in which you live. Can I, can I go on from where I was? Yes. Yeah. Are you ready, Pete? Yeah. Josh, do you mind if I put it to you this way? I understand your position that you think unemployment is a difficult thing to tackle, yes. but what if we said community by community, supposing my village said, as a village, we would want to let everybody in the whole region know that this village has a policy where householders give paid work to people between jobs. In other words, say my village said we will have nobody without the opportunity to earn. That's one way to try and tackle unemployment, give people something to get up for every day and some money to earn. And that's not employment. And it, they, won't, they won't lose their dole. It's just a way of get, getting people to say, we can put something in, we can earn. And I think householders would go with that, myself. Well, well you've been in the army. So you, yes. you've been actually... Uh, had a gun put in your hand and you've been told oh, yes. over there there's a German if you've got a chance we want you to kill that German well you 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 don't go out with a deliberate idea of killing them but, but that's what it's about that's what it's about thank you very much Joss for your comments I'm sure the the listeners will be most impressed and uh, <laughs> take notice of some of your wisdom I think the power that it, the average person's got is mainly in their purse Nobody is interested in politics. I put it in my will. I want to be buried under the cabbage patch. I hope the listeners are following this. <laughs> Joyce, yes. can I just say thank you very much for having us? Yes. Um, I hope our audience will take a lot from the wisdom you're going to tell us or, or things the conversation we're going to have. Just a short five-minute chat. Do you think people should try a bit harder to make life better? You tell the viewers 
what you think. I know you're going to say, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> We can and we must sort ourselves out, and in doing so, improve things for others too. Come on, mates. Don't let a guy from down under show us up. This entire site is designed to help you. Mm -hmm.